those are demoralizing situations when you when you play good defense and then you don't finish the possession. And, um, you know, I, I thought, you know, we we've, we're, we're good free throw shooters and we missed some free throws that I thought um, left some points on the board. And then, you know, the third quarter we had had some challenges with our execution and, and seeing the ball go into. We just and um, you know that. But again, we I thought we bounced back in the fourth. We clearly we did. When you guys are able to keep your poise, as you mentioned, um, how do you guys kind of the free throw line is not always going to be cut to you, but how do you guys go about trying to kind of improve in that area where it could be the difference between a game? Kind of like well, I, I think free throw shooting, you know. I, I have a lot of confidence when our guys get to the line. Clint's shot it great this year. Trey and DJ are two of the best free throw shooters, you know, and they're both very confident um, and poised in clutch situations. And we just sometimes, sometimes you miss them. You know, it just it is what it is. It's not, no one goes up to the line. The, nobody's nervous at the line. You know, those guys are confident and the ball just doesn't always go in. And, um, you know, that's when you, you point to the other end. And as I said, I, I thought, you know, our big switch when we needed to, we executed in a lot of good situations to keep matchups that we wanted. And then, um, you know, but being able to close possessions is, is important. When you guys are looking at the beginning of games and then also maybe coming out of the locker room at halftime, where do you see your guys' biggest room for improvement with coming? Well, we, we need to play better. You know, I mean, I, I, I hesitate to, you know, try to get too granular on everything. I think I said, you know, you want to get good shots. We've started games well. We've had good third quarters. I mean, it just is a question of us maintaining that consistency. And, um, you know, Orlando came out in the beginning of the game and made everything. Um, and then they cooled down and, you know, we caught up and took the lead going into halftime. And, had a little bit of the same situation in the third quarter where, you know, if they're making shots, it, it puts even more pressure on you to have really good possessions offensively. And the ones we did have that were good, um, you know, the ball didn't go in. Paolo had eight points in that overtime. What just makes him so difficult to kind of Well, you know, I, I thought we, at some point, you, you, you can, you know, if you want to double team him, you know, we had good – when Jalen was on him, Clint was on him at times, O was on him, not in the overtime, obviously. But, um, you know, when we got – we got good contests on those shots. And, um, again, I, I think the biggest thing is good – you know, players are going to make shots, but when they miss, we've got to clean up the glass. Can you talk about the defensive possessions that kind of stretched out the game? Sadiq had a big one where he – Got on the floor and saved the ball. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, I, I guess that's where my focus is on on that. Is I thought we really competed, and you know, put ourselves in a position to win the game. And uh, and again, you know, as you said in overtime, um, there were a few that we had, and we missed some free throws, and um, they made some shots. But the boards were something that you know that, that we have more control over. Sometimes you play good defense, and a guy will make a shot, but. We can't give him multiple opportunities. What are your thoughts on the Capella attempted charge um, that they had to review at the end of the game? Yeah, I, you know, I didn't see the monitor, but I, it looked to me like a, it was a charge. So, Coach, obviously, your goal is to win every game because you guys are hyper competitive, especially at the highest level. Mm -hmm. But is it kind of just key or is like a focus of just trying to take the positives out of the negative situation or any positive situation? Yeah, I think, I think we, we defended. You know, and, and you know, we, we had a rough game the other night, and I thought we bounced back. You know, and even without a good start, too, you know, our group is we competed, and you know, you, you'd like to get you know something in the win column from that, but that wasn't the case tonight. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.